everything you know about learning is wrong. And in this video, I'm gonna go over some really good strategies and tools that you can use to pass the CompTIA Security Plus. This video is based on a book called Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning. And this book does go into the research and the studies that this video is based on. So when learning, there are a lot of assumptions that no one ever really questions. A lot of people I think have a difficulty with this learning style. Number one is reading is heavily pushed in almost every class that I've ever taken. It's read the book. The book is where you're going to get all of your information. But in reality, if we look at this chart, you only actually remember 10% of what you read. It's a highly ineffective way to learn anything. And if you want to pass the security plus within a short amount of time, reading the book over and over and taking notes on it is called passive learning and is highly inefficient use of your time. It is good for getting a bird's eye view of what's going on. Another one, a common assumption is that IQ puts a firm limit on the amount of knowledge that you can gain. This I think is heavily pushed because especially in school, we have that grading system and somehow if you get good grades, you're smart and you get bad grades, you're dumb and you have a low IQ. Honestly, the school system kind of is dramatic in my opinion. You can learn how to learn. So learning is an acquired skill and that's the main premise of the book. So if you weren't a good student, that doesn't mean that you have a low IQ or that you're dumb. It just means you didn't have effective studying strategies and no one really ever questioned it. If you're like afraid that this cybersecurity certificate is too difficult, please do not be. I firmly believe that you can pass this cert. Before starting, you want to make a plan. So so important concepts to know is Parkinson's law. The task will expand or shorten to the amount you give it. And I find this true in my life. I give myself a week, it takes me a week. I give myself an hour, it takes me an hour. So give yourself 30 to 45 days. Make sure that it's good for your schedule. I don't know your schedule, but if you're just a college student, you can do this in 30 days. Give yourself a time period and then only focus on that and you'll start to find extra time that you didn't have before. A really good place to start would be SMART goals. Specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time-based. This is probably one of the most effective ways to actually achieve your goals because it breaks it down to the day-to-day -day habits. Please comment, like, and subscribe. The first step you're gonna to wanna to do when trying to pass the CompTIA Security Plus is go download that syllabus. It's basically all of the cybersecurity topics that you're going to learn for this cybersecurity entry-level certification. Uh, spend like a couple, one or two hours just really making sure you know what's going on. Once you have that done, you can go buy the book. Step two is you're going to want to scope the subject. And this just gives you a good idea of the end goal and everything that's going on. It gives you a bird's eye view. You don't need to go into detail reading the book, right? You just need to skim through the book. Just spend like four or five hours you don't need to memorize anything. Just get a good idea and sense of what is ahead of you. A really good book is the CompTIA Security Plus 601 by, by Daryl Gibson. He's the art author when I studied my for my Security Plus. The next one is to go through an online course. You're going to remember 50% of what you see in here. So the great thing about videos is that you're going to hear it but you're also going to see it. And a lot of these videos have very good demonstration. And that is the power of video and why I much prefer video over reading the book. I really think we just read books 50 years ago and no one has ever like evaluated this data and we just continue to read textbooks for some reason. And they make a ton of money off of those textbooks, by the way. Maybe that's also why. Udemy has really good Security Plus course material. YouTube has good Security Plus YouTube material. Find an instructor that just resonates with you. Maybe you find someone's voice really annoying. Uh, in that case, just find a different instructor. There are tons of awesome options out there. Read the reviews, check them out, but you're really gonna wanna focus on these videos. And while you're watching the videos, you're gonna want to create Anki cards. I did try to find 601 Security Plus Anki cards, but I can't. However, you can make Anki cards and then share them with everybody on Reddit. 
or come back to this video and share them with me so then I can pass them out to everybody. So when you're going through these videos, don't mindlessly just watch these videos, but ask yourself questions about what you're watching and turn these into notes. For instance, instead of just writing down what what is risk or what is a threat or what is a vulnerability you can make one Anki card and be like what is the difference between a risk threat and vulnerability that's called active recall which is an extremely effective way of retaining information so you really want to be actively learning and not passively learning so reading watching my videos can be passive and you won't actually retain the knowledge what you want to do is you want to do active learning and spaced repetition is one of the best ways to do that with Anki cards. So when you're going through these videos, make sure to create some Anki cards, asking yourself questions about the material that you're watching. This is really important because if you just like passively watch this and then you passively read it, you can trick yourself into thinking you're actually learning. In reality, you're not. And then maybe it'll just like think you just can't retain information when actually those are highly ineffective studying strategies. So always do active recall. Ask yourself, what am I learning right now? Because I guarantee you, you may have just zoned out and you have no idea. Once you have finished watching all of those videos and you have your Anki cards, try to find other Security Plus Anki cards too in case you missed some information maybe. You're gonna really wanna go heavy on active recall and you're gonna wanna know these notes extremely well. Also, if you're interested, a really good course to go deeper into how to study for exams is how to study for exams masterclass um, by Ali Abdal on Skillshare. I will have the link below, but um, really good course if you wanna go into more about Anki cards and how to use Anki cards, that's also a very good course. And book, Make It Stick. They also go into that there's like a fallacy in thinking that repeating information to yourself is actually going to make it stick, right? So you, you want to actively recall it. You want to make learning a little bit difficult. It's called retrieval practicing. And what they say is recalling facts or concepts or events from memory is more effective learning strategy than review by rereading. Flashcards are a simple example. Retrieval strengthens the memory and interrupts forgetting. A simple single quiz. And that's why I really like online courses that have quizzes and labs and really just make you engaged with the material. The next really good studying strategy, once you have your Anki cards, you've been practicing, is the Feynman technique. This is a mental model where you explain the topics to say a in the simplest and most concise form, to say like you were talking to a five-year-old. So people who use this elaborate language um, and try to like technically fool you may or may not know what they're talking about. When you can speak to things in the most simplest way, then that's when you know you have mastered it. If you can't teach a five-year-old, you may, you probably don't even know the material. If you've just been pass passively writing down notes or just passively doing passive learning without doing the active recall that I suggested earlier, then you possibly just have a false sense of competency. And this also fills in the gap. So maybe you're doing active learning, but when you actually explain those concepts to say a five-year-old, that's when you actually know that you have mastered the topic. The last step is to do questions and answers. And that my absolute best and favorite resource is Bosin Questions and Answers by Security Plus. I'm not sponsored, but because these are such good questions and they explain why each question is right and each question is wrong. Like, so if you can master that exam after going through all of these three things, if you can master that Security Plus Bosin practice exam, then you will be really set to passing the CompTIA Security Plus within a short period of time. And I have absolutely no doubt that you can pass the CompTIA Security Plus. And now I do want to say, part of the reason you want to put so much effort into this exam is because it is the foundation of security and you will benefit from this knowledge from years and years ahead of time. So don't take any shortcuts, actually take the time to 
to practice because it will come back to bite you and you'll have holes in your knowledge if you decide to take shortcuts and also things will be much harder for you later on when you're trying to learn something new. So the thing about tech is the longer you're in it, the faster you can just pick up skills uh, because you have so much just base knowledge. But if you take a shortcut, and you're missing that base knowledge, it can be a lot more difficult for you later on. So I strongly suggest doing active recall, doing questions and answers, uh, watching the videos and taking and writing down questions that you have, question-based notes, and all of that fun sort. So I have full faith that you can pass the exam. So please leave a comment below and also come back to this video if you pass the CompTIA Security Plus or how successful you are with that. And I will see you next time. Bye.